So I'm going to shift gears completely mm-hmm. and go down a real ra- uh, random sort of rabbit hole. Awesome. <laughs> I'm terrified, but I like it. So one thing that I've, I've seen you do a lot lately, I've also noticed Gary Vaynerchuk doing it, Joel Kamm, is um, Snapchat. Mm. And so I'm curious where you see that going. And I know this is completely random. Sure. But it's just no, kind of, it's... it's something I've, I've seen quite a few sort of marketing thought leaders going down this route. So I'm curious where you see it going and how and the marketing applications of it. So it's a very simple answer. And this is another shift in the marketplace of marketing is that people are buying more anymore based on the values mm-hmm. of the brand. So when you get, look at Apple, their values are like sleek design and right. It just works and it's beautiful and it's high end and it's luxury, right? Right. They sell the values. So if you want those values or you think those values are cool, you're going to buy from Apple. But if you value the ability to edit your firmware and hack your phone and all this, you're going to get Android. Like it depends on what your values, like personal uh, values are. And so Snapchat to me is a way to go above and beyond and connect with people and share your values. Mm -hmm. So your daily story is like, it's not just like, this is the food I'm eating. It's, you probably like this type of food too. We should be friends. You know, it's, like this, <laughs> it's a conversation with a big audience. It's, it's a little more than telling a story. A lot of people say like, it's about storytelling, which is a big part of marketing too. But to me, it's about connecting based on values. So if they see I'm working at six in the morning, they say, wow, I either want to be like that or I am like that. So I like that guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so Snapchat is just a cool way to connect with people. Because Facebook, if I posted that stuff, as much as I do on, like, I, I snap every, like, 10 minutes, you know? Um, speaking of which, I don't know where my phone is. I was going to Snapchat, but whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll have to do a snap after. But it's literally, like, is that, is this person someone I want to be involved with? Uh-huh. Uh, big brands are doing it, but personal brands, like, I'm, I'm a personal brand, can do it as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my clients has thousands and thousands of Snapchat followers and and he does it nonstop because it creates a new level of engagement based on those values. So that is where the conversation is. I don't have a ton of followers, you know, I have like 120 or something. Uh, But those 120, I meet him at a conference and we're like, dude, I saw that. It was funny and blah, 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 blah. Like it's a personal thing. And Gary's doing it nonstop. Like Gary understands the guerrilla tactics of, of connecting to people and he always looks like angry and depressed on him. I think he needs to work. He's always like, it's three in the morning and you're just, I uh, hate you and you should hustle. But, but people, I like it. I'm like, that's awesome. Like, get it, Gary. But, um, but yeah, like personal branding is a big part of that um, personal connection. And just being yourself, like, don't manufacture anything because it won't come across authentic yeah so, uh, so that's of, where it's at yeah you know? a lot of the same kind of reasons people might use like periscope or something yeah. like that is just yeah. to connect more with their audience make them feel like or you know make people in your audience feel like they they know you on more of a personal mm-hmm. level and yeah and if, not a if business they, relationship it's almost more of sure. a friend relationship well if we're so it's funny if i'm in paris i walk into a cafe mm-hmm. i see you wearing that hat i say dude are you from san diego we are best friends instantly, <laughs> even if I don't know you, because we're somewhere foreign, we're in a different right. area of the world, but we have this common thing. If we just pass each other in the street here, uh, that guy's beard, I don't like it. You know, like, <laughs> like it's all context, right? So um, the context with Snapchat is very intimate. It's like, here's my life. Like, I'm giving right. you behind Makes the sense. scenes. So the values are what make people connect. And, and I find it fascinating. People, like, look at Snapchat, like, I don't get it. It's yeah. silly. Snapchat, it's part of the funnel. Right. It's literally the, the ascension model for for personal connection is, to me, it's blog, YouTube, Periscope, Snapchat. Like, mm-hmm. that's the, the ascension model for connection. Anybody who's following me on Periscope or uh, Snapchat, they're going to know pieces of my life that, like, my family does. Like, that's it. Yeah. You know, I, same with put Facebook in kind of the same tier, but I'm trying to post less because I feel like I spam people all day long. Uh, but that's that's the funny thing is like, and they choose, they have to choose to watch you. You don't show up in a feed. Right. They have to choose to see your story. And people who choose to interact with you are a thousand times more engaged than yeah. you know, they're forced to. 